Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. This is a continuation of a project that I recently did. We took a cork board and made it into a cheap home decor or office decor item. So this video is all about decorating those clothes pins. So the first thing that we need is obviously a bunch of clothes pins. How many depends on how many you want to, you know, add on your board. Then we need a bunch of uh, brushes, big ones, small ones. We're going to be using a bunch of paints, white, black, and pretty much all the colors of rainbow. And last but not least, I'm using some liquid leaf. And this color, the Cooper one, is called fronting gold. Then we're going to be needing a few dotting tools. I do have a DIY on the colorful one super easy to make but you can use the back of a brush as well then we're going to be needing some glue some gloss and something sparkly now i've had this sparkles for quite a while it's like holographic i get stripes i bought them online a long time ago but probably you are going to be able to find a lot more fun stuff nowadays the first thing we're going to be doing is painting the base for that we're going to be obviously needing the brush and the paints pretty much it's up to you if you cover the whole thing like the whole pin or if you cover just the front part as i did then you're going to be taking your uh, dotting tool the small one and you're going to be adding some black dots in a pocket dot pattern. Here's another example of things that you can do with your black and white painting some lines. This is the easier way that I found on you know having really thin lines. Just using a really thin brush helps a lot. Here is another example of the white based one. Just by painting some stripes and this is by just painting a stripe across with your brush. Pretty simple but again super effective. Here I have another example of polka dots but this one is using the bigger dotting tool and some colors. I'm going to be using pretty much different colors per dot. I'm just going to clean my dotting tool in between colors that napkin that you see right there has some water in it and then i'm going to be moving on to a yellow green blue purple one pretty much following a rainbow pattern here and i'm going to repeat the same like scheme um until i'm done this one i loved it's super effective and it's super easy to paint and here i'm just making my own color by just mixing a, a bit of white then a bit of blue tiny bit of green and then a tiny bit of yellow i'm just going to mix that to get this kind of like turquoise color i hope it looks like that let me know if you like this shade but yeah i'm just going to paint one of my clothes pins pretty much going to be doing the same thing as i did with the previous ones but in this case my polka dots are going to be in white doing the same thing with the same dotting tool and here I'm just doing the same thing as the polka dot with the black background and the white uh, polka dot. But then I decided to go and make something extra with it. I'm just going to take my dotting tool and paint some purple, like randomly. This is not even a dot, this is like a blob in there. Just make it as random as you want to. If you're not like steady on your hands, this is a good option for you. Then I'm just going to grab a toothpick with some white acrylic paint. I'm just going to make something in there, like some swirling on my purple just to make this look like flowers. Doesn't have to be perfect at all because when you add the green one with your toothpick to simulate the leaves, that kind of turns those random shapes into flowers. In this one, I'm doing exactly the same thing as far as like the purple application goes, but in this case the middle part is going to be pink and pretty much doing the same thing as with the white one now make sure your purple isn't dry yet otherwise the effect of like the swirling thing is not going to look the same but as far as for the green part it's going to be pretty much as we did before then i'm just going to go with the rainbow pattern i would highly suggest you though for this part to have different like brushes ready to go one per each color because it's going to be a lot easier and it's going to be making sense in a second first i'm going with the red one then before that dries i'm just going to with the green one before that dries i'm just going to kind of like make a gradient effect simulating like it's not a line and then the next color is on to smooth where one color ends and the other begins i'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing in all the colors just keep in mind you have six colors to work with so just don't apply too much of a color if you want to have like the six colors in just that small space but yeah, just keep on doing that until you get to the purple one. 
and I think it looks super cool and super effective as well. Let me know if you feel the same way. For this one, I'm going to fail big time because I didn't find the footage like when I was painting this one, but it's pretty easy. You just paint the black base, grab a huge dotting tool and just add those dots in white. My dot is huge because I this is actually the back part of my big dotting tool. So just look for something maybe in the back of a pencil or something like that, something that is really round and big. I'm just going to apply some Mod Podge to those figures that I want to have like my glitter on top and I'm just going to grab my tweezers and I'm just going to place those glitters on top like my Mod Podge is going to be like my glue in this case once I'm done I'm just going to um, shake it all so I don't have any excess in there I decided to go and just add some gold in there so I went on top of some white circles and just painted them in gold and then again I'm just going to take one that has black paint on the background and I'm just going to go with my brush with pop much again I'm just going to kind of like draw we could say a pattern with my mouth punch and then just place those glitters on the top and just you know try to tap them a bit so they stay in there in place once you have done that just remove the excess of those glitters and you have yourself a pattern now i loved how the holographic things you know showed their true colors but it was like too messy if i didn't protect them um by adding this gloss they would be too loose if i didn't do this i mean if you're not going to be moving them at all if you find some glitter that is in this like messy but you like it and you want to go for it, you don't have to apply any gloss. But since I'm going to actually be moving them and just opening those closed pins, I decided to add some gloss. And when you add the gloss, it kind of loses the holographic effect on those glitters, but I just had to do it because otherwise it was going to be like too messy. So this is pretty much all the ideas that I wanted to share with you. They are so cute together. Again, you can customize it to your own liking, to your own personal style. Um, you can have them all like in the same design or you can have like all in different designs as I did. Pretty much depends on your personal taste of course and like the vibe of your room. So this is it for this idea. Hopefully you like them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it. So thank you so much for your time and watching. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.